Welcome to this new episode of Dusty Souls and quite an epic episode and one to remember, that's for sure. So I just arrived at the pan and Zing was here with this impala carcass and she's now heading back to the den with it. Hey my girl. You're gonna eat now. Yeah, you can eat in peace. Hey, you got quite a bit of meat there. Yeah. They're going to hear you chewing on it, and they're going to come running, I'm sure. Hey. Let me put this camera. So... The impala looking quite lean at the moment. Such those carnassial shears, those teeth slicing through that skin like a sharp pair of scissors or shears. Sure, the others will hear this chewing from the den. Thank you. Not seeing anybody coming yet. She heard the others coming or something. Aeroplane you can hear flying over there doing the annual census counting all the animals on the reserve. Hey Gil, can I sit here? Jesus. 
way she makes short work of those ribs just crunching them like we crunch a piece of toast it's insane yeah Pretty sure somebody's going to arrive. Sometime soon. Yeah. You haven't got any competition this morning, girl. Nobody coming, eh? Huh? Excitement at the den there. Maybe somebody else has brought food to the den.
Here she goes. Pass my camera. Don't eat my camera. Oh, God. Shame. Camera gave her a fright. Sorry, girl. <coughs> right now we're going to the den, I think. She saw the camera and got a fright. Now we're heading back towards the den. There's going to be a commotion when we get there, that's for sure. I must just stay out of it. Quite a few hyenas at the den there now. <laughs> I'm going to go to the side here. I'm not going to follow her straight in there like that. chasing who here? Somebody else has taken the food. So this is them greeting Zing. She's left her food. Where's the food gone? Is somebody taking it over there? I think they might have. What is it? So I'm not sure. The matriarch and Zing is still greeting. That's old shaky. His mother was here earlier with him, they were suckling. Everybody's running off there to the remains of the carcass or not. Now the who's being chased here, this is ah, this is the male. Hey old one eye. Oh, you silly boy. Oh, stop your nonsense, my boy. Look at that, it's hell. Zing has come past me here. 
There's too much tension around. I need to get out of this. But they're chasing the male and he's probably the dad of some of these cubs. The greeting there. that female with the matriarch's greeting. Oh, there's somebody's got the... <laughs> That's Smitty. Who got the remains of that carcass? One eye, stop your nonsense. Okay, hey, hey. Okay, guys, it's one eye you need to sort out, not me. Yeah, this is all very tense here. I don't know. Need to get out of it. The problem is, this is Zing here, she should be fine. What are you smelling? There's one eye, they just want to... I think he's the dad of the matriarch's new cubs. <coughs> so uh, I wanted a bit of action, I sure got it. Tumbo over there with the impala skull. Hey, Mr. One Eye. You see, he's limping now, which is. Why are you limping now? Hey? Those guys, oh, that's, there's another old Impala carcass there, but that's been there a while. Here the Matriarch's two new cubs, and as I say, those cubs, their father is probably one eye, that one. The male they keep chasing off. But he's always been... Hanging out with the matriarch. Where's he gone now? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Tumba, is that you with the munchies? Very proud owner. There's one eye coming past me again. I can just hear him. Oh, there. What is? Tom is very proud. He's saying to mom, look what I got. Quite a bit of tension here. Hey 
Mike Tamba. Now where are you going with that? Are you going to go and take it somewhere? Should I follow you? Or s I think I might follow her. What's up, my boy? You still want to give me horns? <laughs> Are they going to greet there? I'm going to go and find Tomba. I think. She's over here. No, Mama, I'm not involved here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, put that man. Stop it. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not into that. What, so what happened there was... Oh man, what happened there was Tamba had the food and oh, and I now where's the munchies gone, guys? So Tamba had the food and, and Shaky was hassling him and hassling her so she retaliated and then the next thing is they thought it was me because I was close there. Oh, that's always a problem. Yeah, that's always learning this curve. Eh? Just never know who's going to and all they're doing is protecting themselves. I mean, it's understandable. They're not being idiots. It's just normal. So, and again, I shouted there, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but it's quite an intense situation when you've got all these hyenas and they, they surround you. So you've actually got nothing you can do. Um, and I don't know if... I'm sure that shout wasn't a good idea. Anyway, so now do I go and follow up on on the carcass? The matriarch is not. Where is the matriarch? Oh, she's out here, <laughs> following up on the carcass as well. And here comes one eye. Hey, my boy. What do you think? Do you think we need to deal with this? Yeah, I know. Imagine. <laughs> There's a matriarch behind him. So everybody's out here somewhere. And Tumba's gone. Has Tumba gone? Is this is this zing? Hello, girl. Are you gonna come and say hi? Hello. It's been a long time, zing, and it was you who was chasing me just now. Hey. Hey, was that you chasing me? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. 
Oh, you just love it, don't you, girl? Oh, yes. Hey. Do you want more of it, hey? Okay, you can go now. So I wonder where... Well, that was also amazing. I mean, Zing was part of the party with her mother, everybody giving me gears. And uh, yeah, she just came to me calmly, want a little scratch. And it was back to normal. So if you're not, yeah, I mean, they would have done the same thing to me if I was a hyena. I mean, just another low ranking hyena, I would have got the same treatment. So it's just knowing how to handle it. Uh, I did get a bit anxious there, I must say. But that's the. Anyway, I'm going to learn, I suppose. But I did say before I got here, there's going to be tension at the den if I, you know, when she brings that carcass to the den. And I wasn't wrong. So everybody's just lying around here now, chilling. It's all fine. There's no food involved, so why should there be a problem? There's that's Zing greeting the matriarch. Her two little cubs are out there. Go. I do want to go and see now. Ah, here comes one eye to talk to me. Yes, my boy. <laughs> Still don't know how he lost his eye, but he did somehow. So I'm going to go and look now, see if I can find Zing down here. Any problem is that's all smoothie or oh, shaky going this way, and he was the problem before. <laughs> so even there, I was 10 meters away, or no, 15 meters away from um, Tamba when. All that commotion happened. And I suppose they just felt like I should be taken out. No. I don't know where Tamba is down here, if she even is. But I think she might have gone this baobab they frequent down here. Gone into the shade there too. Chew on that skull. Somebody rustling in the leaves there. Eh? All shaky, and there's Tamba with her carcass. Hey, girl. Cool. <coughs> oh, 
shake, shake. Oh, Tamba, you've been eating well. You probably ate on that carcass with your mother earlier. Did you, girl? Eh? I think you might have. You haven't got the strength that your auntie has. Have you? Yeah. Oh, everybody's coming here. Mm. All these animals are so well fed. Tumba is quite high ranking, so they're not going to hassle her. Here comes it. It's aeroplanes. Quite close past us now. As I say, it's the aerial census they're doing. So, where are you taking that, Tama? And there's the plane up there somewhere, flying through the gap. Chew that bone. Oh, that poor skull looks pretty gruesome now. Well, your mum's at the den looking after the little ones, and you are here. This camera is about to die. So, <coughs> while it does that, who else is coming? Somebody? Oh, is this Zing? Is that you, Zing a Ling? <laughs> hey, girl. Tumba's moved off with the munchies. Zing, look at your tummy. You've had so much to eat. Yeah, you can chew that bone. Not much left on it. <laughs> Little, that you, Smoothie. You just jointed that bone from, from Zing. She's so well fed, she doesn't mind. Hey, girl. I think you're a better bet. I'm going to follow you. You're going to go and lie down somewhere? Tumblr's finishing off the skull. I'm probably running out of battery here, so I might just call it, call it today. I'll see what 
Zing gets up to. That girl. She's an incredible mother. I remember when she was a cub. So she's about four years old now. Um, and when she was a small cub, smaller than about Smoothie's age at the moment. No, not Smoothie. Um, Shaky's age at the moment. What's up, girl? Oh, my battery died. Hello. Oh, goodness. I'm going to come for cuddles again. Oh, yes. 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 So I'm going to use this to cut that other bit because this is how she came to me when the camera died. Yeah, hey? Yes, my girl. Okay. Who's that coming? A little smooth. Hey? You see, I never pat them. I don't. I, I believe patting is such an unnatural motion. On Yet we pat our dogs. And <laughs> oh. Gently, gently, girl. Oh. Yes, yes. Here we go. Hey, girl. I still find that amazing, huh? They don't bite hard, and then you just tell them to release, and they do. Are you going off now? Or are you wanting me to follow you? You go. Bye bye. Hello. Uh, so, a note to self from this morning's situation is yeah, whenever there's food don't go near it or check out who's there when I was with Zing with the carcass that was fine she was on her own if others arrived it would have changed but then Tamba Tamba on the carcass she's also fine I mean she brought it past me there that's all fine but it's being aware when there's others around them with the carcass you've got to check who's ranking where and what and so that was just what happened was just that the matriarch was protecting her youngster that was taking out smoothie or shaky for trying to steal the skull from them and uh, mom came to their defense thinking it was me approaching the den here and um, yeah I should have read that I mean just knowing that mom was around and and Tamba was right there oh, I just got to read these things all the time all the time I do just wish I'd reacted differently and tried to avoid eye contact um, and all of that which was really hard to do when they were spinning all around me um, so I think I did look a bit frantic which is I should have been the one in the calm in the storm just to calm it down but another learning curve <laughs> nobody here to teach me I just got to do it myself just going past the den and there's nobody there but just to recap on that um, yeah, I, 
I did have visions of myself being ripped apart there, I must say. Um, it was quite a tense, very tense situation. I had it once before. There was five hyenas, I think there were six today. But the difference being the last time the five came all from the front. This time now they surrounded me and that was that was a problem. But luckily there were some small bushes there. So yeah, I mean this stuff does happen and it can happen and um I'm not gonna stop doing what I do because it is such a natural process and it is so amazing but you know like any profession one takes risks um, I was aware of the risk there and I didn't go too close so that was fine but um, yeah as I say any profession even just walking down the streets of New York City you, chances of you being hit by a car a lot more likely than something happening here with me. And I'm doing what I like, I'm doing what I love. This is my life. I'm not going to change it. And the hyenas have brought a whole new meaning to being a part of the natural world for me. And I'm going to keep it that way even if they do one day take me out. I won't regret it. <laughs>